Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAB League Support. Today we'll discuss about SAPSD enhancements, which is relevant to pricing. And in other words, we can say that it's one of the SAPSD real-time scenarios. Now let's get started. So there's a requirement from business. They want to exclude they don't want to apply freight cost on the order and invoice as well right in case of two situations so before we understand what is the what are the two situations first let's understand what is the freight cost So we know that whenever goods are getting transported in a bulk by truck or train, ship or aircraft, in any of that mode of the transport, if any goods are getting transferred from company to the customer location, then in these cases, some companies charging that freight cost. I mean, the transport department will charge that freight cost. This is about the freight cost actually. But uh, in some cases, the business doesn't want to apply the freight cost. This is the client requirement, basically. So what are the situations in which cases this should be excluded? So mainly, there are two situations are there, which is from client uh, requirement only. In case of pickup customers. So pickup customers is nothing but the customers who want to receive the uh, goods to the company itself, to the store or to the shop. He will directly go to the company or store or shop. Then he will pick up the goods from there and move away, pay the bill and move away. So in this cases, transport won't require because the customer going to that company or store itself and getting the goods what he need, right? So in this cases, we should avoid this pickup, sorry, freight cost. The best example for this pickup customers are cash sales process. So let me show you in the system also the transaction code to access the sales document type controls is vivo v8 we know that in vivo v8 the cash sales process example is that bb in bb cash sales if i scroll down you see here immediate delivery has been enabled as x that means during say of an order delivery will be created immediately with delivery type as bv so sales document type is bv delivery type is bv and billing type also bv so when we save in a cash sales order delivery will be created automatically and one output will be triggered and assigned to that order cash sales order that is rd03 let me show you that if i go to nas t code for the application v1 output types rd03 see so this is the cash shell output type so this will be assigned and triggered in the cash shell order so this will be immediately issued to the customer it's kind of invoice copy only Right, so in case of pickup pick up customers, freight cost should be excluded, avoided. So how we are going to determine whether this customer is a pickup customer or not? So we have thousands of customers in the system. So we are going to distinguish whether it's a pickup customer or not based on the shipping condition maintained in the customer master level. Okay, the field for shipping condition is VSBED. This is the one scenario, one uh, condition. The second condition is that in case of an uh, back to back scenarios, business to business, the best example for back to back scenario is that item category TAS. It's a third party scenario. In this scenario, vendor directly going to deliver the goods to the customer, right? So in this case, F2 invoice will be issued 
from the company to the customer end customer in this case also business, business expecting that don't want to charge the freight cost so business two situations business wants to avoid applying freight cost okay the field which will be storing that uh, item category is that ps tyb and uh, let me show you that uh, one of the uh, standard pricing freight cost condition type i am in v slash 06 t code where we can see list of an uh, pricing condition type with controls so i think kf double zero so kf double zero is nothing but a freight cost condition type so as per our requirement either we can go and use the standard condition type or we can go and develop the custom pricing condition type anything is fine yeah so based on these two scenarios we should avoid the applying freight cost so how we are going to achieve this enhancement requirement so to do this we need to develop two tables two custom tables either we can develop that uh, custom table or we can create the tvarvc variable so by the way you guys know about this tvarvc variable if you don't know please do let me know in the comment section i will try to explain about this tvarvc variable also okay so why either we can go with custom table creation or tvarvc variables so in our project we have created the custom table only so first table is item category table where we have maintained a list of item categories for which we are going to exclude this freight cost and the document category is optional here but we have maintained here so document category denotes uh, that is what type of transaction is that capital m means it's an f2 invoice capital c means it's a sales order right standard order or order and uh, capital j means it's a delivery type capital t means return delivery something we can be identified with the help of this document category this is the first table and second table we are going to maintain the shipping conditions as i said earlier that right pickup customers will be identified with the help of the shipping conditions only so this change will be applicable to the customer whoever having this shipping conditions so based on these uh, two tables we are going to develop one custom routine so it's nothing but a custom requirement routine in pricing procedure let me go to v slash 08 transaction code and uh, open rvwa01 standard pricing procedure go to the control so here you see the requirement routine right so here we are going to develop the new customized requirement routine so develop the new customizing routine and assign it to the relevant condition type here assign that to the freight condition type so development of the routine will be done in the transaction code vofm so here we see the menu requirements click this one then click pricing so here we can develop the requirement routines so once uh, routine is developed once routine is developed then uh, if we move the changes to quality and production the changes won't work the reason here is that whenever we develop any new routines any routine surprising routines like calculation type alternate calculation type alternative base value determination or uh, output routines in the output pricing output procedure also we have that requirement routine right and uh, in that uh, access sequence also we have the routines right you have several places we are using the routines so whenever we develop any new routine custom routine that time the routine should be activated for the activated for the very first time in the each and every system quality and production so simply moving the changes from development to quality and quality to production the changes won't work the changes what we are going to write in the routine won't work if in order to make that changes work we should run one report let me show you that the report is let me go to sc38 the report is rv80 
H gen. So we need to run this uh, report every time in the system whenever we have developed the new routine. So we should run this report once transport moved to quality air production. First transport should be available with the new routine changes. Then we can run this routine. So we can simply execute this like this. That's it. It will capture all the newly created in my routines and try to activate the routines. This is one way. So if you want to avoid running this uh, report manually every time in quality production means every time means the very first time of the routine movement to quality production. You see he is saying that all routines have been successfully activated. So to avoid this manually running this report every time to quality production right what we can do a map team can add this uh, program rv 80 hgen into the tr where we have saved the routine changes it's a workbench request right in the workbench request ABAP team stored all the routine changes development of the new routine custom routine right in that routine ABAP team can add this program ABAP team can add this program into the tr tr of that routine where we have the routine changes right once ABAP team add this routine to the tr then whenever tr moments takes to development quality or quality to production the running of this report takes care automatically no need to run manually manual intervention can be avoided here so it will run automatically if you add that uh, report into the tr of that routine right so remember this routine sorry report in your case in your project it might be very useful rvat hgen right so let me show you the piece of code that uh, we need to write in this uh, new customized routine so first we need to get the data from uh, shipping condition table vsbd table by passing get all the data first of all get all the data then uh, get all the item category data we have two tables right uh, shipping condition table and item category table retrieve all the data from these two tables then what we are going to do we are going to validate we know right in pricing we have two important structures are available let me tell you that the first one is let me go to sc11 the first one is komk in kom komk is nothing but an it's a communication header for pricing header pricing communication structure all the header information will be stored in header structure komk similar way all the item information of pricing communication structure will be stored in komp so remember these two structures so we are going to validate the shipping condition value with the retrieved custom table values if both are matching that means if both are matching means we should exclude applying the freight cost then what we need to do we need to make size as 4 so remember the thumb rule is that if you want to make that uh, routine fail means we should update size as 4 only any routine make it fail means update size as 4 else make it as 0 okay this is the first condition we are verifying then second condition we are very validating whether item category is maintained in the custom table or not if it is maintained you see KOMP PSTYV if it is maintained means then don't apply freight cost make it as size of 4 if it is 4 means routine will be failed then freight cost won't be applied so this is uh, so we have so many lines of code here but the main the body the main logic is this only okay so this is how we should uh, develop the routine and fulfill the client requirement here and it will be very helpful to speak about the interview as part of SAPSD enhancement related to pricing or SAPSD real-time scenarios also in both ways we can speak about this change this is the real-time scenario from business hope this video will be very helpful to you friends we'll meet in the next video Thanks everyone.